Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of wide leg pants or jeans to fit 8 inch dolls like the model horse rider dolls and similar sized dolls. The pant legs are wide enough to fit over boots. Now before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com to download this free printable PDF sewing pattern. There's a link below this video on YouTube to help you find it. Use your pattern to cut out four pant legs. Lay one pant leg on top of another, keeping right sides together if you're using fabric where it matters. Sew the crotches together. Note the red thread. I would normally use blue thread, but for instructional purposes I'm using red so you can see it better. Follow the same instructions for the other pant legs so now you have two with the crotches sewn. Clip the crotch seams for each, like you see me doing here. Now the best scissors for this are these teeny tiny snippers, and I have a link to those in the description below. Open the pant legs up like this, press your seam, do the same for each pair of pant legs. Lay one pair of pant legs on top of the other pair, keeping again those right sides together or finished sides together. Sew the out seam. That means you'll sew from the waist to the bottom of the pant leg. Open this seam up and press it. Along the top of the garment at the waist, fold the edge of the fabric once, a tiny fold, and then fold it a second time with a deeper fold. This will create a casing. Now here's a video clip to help you understand it better. So you give it a teeny tiny fold and your pattern shows where this first fold should be and then a deeper fold and again your pattern shows where this fold should be. So follow the guidelines on the pattern. Sew along the very bottom of your casing. I like to use a whip stitch if you need help with the whip stitch. You can look in the description below this video on YouTube and you'll find a link to my whip stitch tutorial. Now that your casing is done, Measure your doll's waist for elastic. It's a good idea to give the elastic a little bit of overlap. Attach a safety pin to one end of the elastic. You want a very tiny safety pin for this. Send your safety pin through the casing. Secure the elastic in place with a straight pin. All right, so I'm pushing my little tiny safety pin through. These are the gold looking, they're actually brass, but gold looking safety pins are very small. You kind of have to jiggle it when you get to that um, seam that you've already made because it can be tricky to push it through there. And then you just insert a straight pin. You want to check to make sure that the straight pin went through the elastic and the fabric. And on the other side you do the same thing. Insert a straight pin all the way through the elastic, give it a tug. Now fold the pants or jeans, bringing the two straight pins together. So I'm going to show you how I do this. You just fold it until your straight pins are kind of lined up. Sew the out seam from the elastic waist down the length of the pants or jeans to the bottom of this pant leg. To secure the elastic, you should go over it with your sewing machine two or three times. Hem one pant leg by folding once 
and then a second time before stitching the hem. Again, I'm using the whip stitch here, but you could use a sewing machine for this hem. Now fold the pants like this. Sew a partial inseam. So what I mean by that, you'll start at the bottom of the finished hem, sew up the pant leg across the crotch, and end your stitches at about where the knee of the doll would be. Okay, and that's the unfinished hem side. Clip the crotch with your snippers. Open up the pant leg with an, the unfinished hem and fold it once and then a second time, just like we did before. And again, I'm using a whip stitch here. But as you hem this pant leg, you wanna make sure that your hems match. So check periodically to see if your hems are about the same length. Will the inseams be the same length is what you're asking yourself. Now, once this second hem is complete, Finish stitching from the knee to the hem. Invert the pants, like you see me doing here. Now these are tiny, so if you need to, grab a chopstick out of your silverware drawer and give it a little twist to try and poke those pant legs out. And now you're ready to try your pants on a doll. For more free printable sewing patterns to fit dolls of many shapes, and all different sizes, please remember to visit my website, ShellyWood.com. Hey, did you know that you could design your own doll pants patterns from scratch with just a limited amount of sewing knowledge? Pattern design is made simple by connecting your doll's measurements with a template I give you during my course. I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer. I own Shelly Wood LLC and the website ShellyWood.com. In my Creative Spark online learning course on doll pants design, I'll teach you the basic fundamentals of pattern design, like how do seam allowances work, before we move on to work on designing our own leggings, jeans, fly front pants, and even overalls. So please join me. I would love to see you on the Creative Spark online learning platform. Come see what we offer. Again, I'm Shelly Wood, one of the instructors.